It looks like Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games, is a little bit scared for GTA 6. We'll be talking They better be scared, because if they nerf the Lucia Purna, we ain't pre-ordering the game. Like the video if you agree. About all that in this video today, and a whole lot more. So, okay. Strauss Zelnick, the Take-Two Interactive CEO and chairman, has started to do a ton of interviews since their earnings call happened Damn. just the other day. And Bro, it for the longest amount of time, Strauss was sat standing there with thumbs up his ass, and right now, ever since they announced GTA 6? They're like, we gotta talk about this, right? We gotta talk about it. I like this, man. Me gusta. Like the video, subscribe. In these interviews, he's out, actually right? revealed a lot, specifically his feelings about Grand Theft Auto 6. And during an interview with the website Inverse, he talked about a handful of things regarding Grand Theft Auto 6. Now, okay. the first thing he Damn. said is his typical Strauss Zelnick comments, which is, I can confirm that Rockstar is working oh, on wow. the next iteration of the Grand Theft Auto. Oh, wow, right? Wow. 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 Finally, ladies and gentlemen, but on a real door, damn, like finally, guys, finally, this second, <laughs> this second finally confirmed that it is happening, it is happening, because for the longest amount of time, man, they wouldn't even say anything, bro. Finally, guys. Finally. Auto franchise. More than that comes from Rockstar. Damn. So to no one's surprise, he didn't give us any more details, but he was asked if he believed that Grand Theft Auto 6 was going to be a guaranteed hit. And if it had the chance to Hopefully. surpass Grand Theft Auto 5, which so. has sold 190 million copies, Oof. making it the world's second best-selling video game just after Minecraft. Yo, how many, how many sales uh, GTA 6 going to do? I think it's easily going to do like 100 million in like five, six years. The definitely, definitely not in the first year though. That that's like way too much, right? But I can see this game doing like 50 million quick though in the first year, and then it's gonna slow down. But if it, if it can do like 50 million in a year, then I suppose it can do like 100 million in less than six years. The reason I'm saying 50 million is because GTA 6 is very, very big though. Because Call of Duty, like on a good year, it can easily do like 20 to 25 mil, right? Like on a good year. Uh, and GTA 6, I've been talking about GTA 6, so I can see this game do 50 million in the first year, but then it's probably gonna slow down a little bit and then it's it's gonna get that evergreen growth where, you know, it, it's doing like 10 million a sale, 10 million a year, 15 million a year, sometimes even 20 it does. Recently GTA 5 did 20 millions in a year. Oh, shit. 10 years after you feel I'm Shane, the, the, the reports were coming out. So GTA is an evergreen game. So Sing is gonna be buying it like 10 years later as well. I mean, who knows? We might never even get GTA 7. If you never know, right? So this might be the only game that we're stuck with for the next uh, lifetime. Zelnick says he isn't taking any chances. Or He's for this lifetime. Actually. Says we're looking over our shoulders at our competitors. We're terrified at all times or we're not doing enough. There's no okay. one who says this is a perfect product. We're really proud of it. Let's take a deep breath, go to the beach. We have to wake up and do it again the next mm. step. So Rockstar Games and their parent company, Take-Two Interactive, just said they're terrified of their competitors and the potential That's impact good. Good. that could have on GTA 6, which is why they need to make it an absolute perfect product, which should yeah, be good, good news for us, the fans, yeah. because their desire to make a perfect product just means we're going to be getting a better video game. Hell yeah, man. Hell to the goddamn yeah, brothers. Because listen, man, GTA 6, I said it before, I'll say it again. GTA 6 will either be a banger or a snoozer. There's gonna be no in between with this game. We have waited 10 years for this game. And a game like GTA, it's either gonna go big or it's gonna go home. Like, I, I hope it goes big though. So I do see that as really good news. Now, in another interview that Take-Two Interactive CEO Strauss Zelnick did, he's also being Damn. cautious about the early success of Grand Theft Auto 6. And the reason oh, wow. Strauss Zelnick wants to still remain cautiously optimistic is because Rockstar Games is breaking records left and right with the announcement of Grand Theft Auto 6. Let's just true, take a look true. at the four real platforms they announced this on. I guess five if you can see. You know, like this, this might be the first, uh, uh, first ever video where Mr. Boss is like, bro. <laughs> You forget a thousand videos every day. Make sure you do not forget this one because we got some real information. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the video, big bro. They're the Rockstar Newswire, although we aren't able to track any analytics there. The post they put out on X or Twitter that says, We are very excited to let you know that in early December, we will Man. release the first trailer for the next Grand Theft Auto. We this got 154 mil views. Obviously, these are impressions. 1.4 million likes on a sub tweet. That is insane because this is not even the main tweet. Tweet. This is like a subtweet. You gotta read between the lines, you know? At least on Twitter. Uh, on Facebook, it was like the main post. But this is a subtweet on Twitter, which is crazy that it hit that many numbers. So it did that many numbers this quick. That, that's amazing. 
We look forward to many more years of sharing these experiences with all of you. Let's Thank go you, for two likes. Sam two likes, two likes As I'm recording this video, it has 153 million views, 1.4 million likes, 484,000 reposts, and almost 52,000 replies. And that's just that one post. The others yeah. have around 10 million, 5.4 million, 37.5 million with the original post they made. Those were all sort of follow-up posts or replies to that. Yeah, that is, is an insane tweet, yeah. amount of views, interactions, just for an announcement that in early December. It's not even a concrete date. We're going to be getting the first trailer yeah. for GTA 6. That's on... Bro, like, right now, everybody's going to be like, okay, man, everybody, everybody, up. we got to search when uh, Rockstar uh, anniversary is, or what's the day the anniversary falls on, right? Like, when was Rockstar founded? Because do nobody knows what day... I mean, I guess if you Google, like, Rockstar found... Uh, when was Rockstar found, founded? I think we're going to get a date, though, but... Last time when I check, like, there was no date. So, so I, I'm pretty sure, like, everybody has Googled it. Everybody is Googling it. Everybody is trying to find an actual date in December. But when do you think it's going to be, though? Because right now, it's, like, not the matter of if. It's the matter of when. Because, uh, yeah, that's what it is. I mean, Game Awards is happening, if I'm not mistaken, on the 7th or the 8th. I know Sakazar are right now assuming that it's gonna be there. I don't think it will be there, but I would not be surprised if it's there right now. It's a possibility, dead ass though, because Game Awards is also early December. The reason I don't think it's gonna happen there is because we're talking about Rockstar games. These sons of female dogs. In Urdu, I'm like, "Yeah, kutte de putte hain yaar. Ye khoti school mein inko na khoti school mein bharti kar do. Abhi kar do. Salon ne beda karak kar diya. Sab ki jebon ka beda karak kar diya. Hashar nashar kar diya. Kutte de putron dal do halete. Halete dal do na. But ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about Rockstar Games, Brad, these sons of female dogs, they're, they're probably gonna do it on their own, because they're big. I hope this time they do like an event like Call of Duty, because Call of Duty games are always trash by the looks of this year. It's like, I mean, damn, right? Recycle every year. But their marketing is top tier, though. Call of Duty marketing is amazing. If GTA 6 gets that level of reveal event where they got people there... Oh, some, something like that. I mean, it, it's going to be amazing, but I don't think they're going to do it, though. One platform. And I should note as well, for those of you guys that are interested, Rockstar did end up pinning this to the top of their profile. Oh, That's something wow. we were kind of My all God. speculating over the last wow. couple of days. Wow. Same with Instagram. On Instagram, the post has over 2.5 million likes, which is absolutely insane, and uh, over 51 uh. Thousand e e e comments. Yo, can a brother get two likes? So insane. On That's the video? on Instagram. On Facebook, the post has been shared over 101,000 times, has nearly 40,000 comments, and has 305 thousand likes that is oh absolutely God. insane and then the last place they did they made the announcement actually here so on instagram is kind of like the biggest right now with 2.5 million likes and on on twitter it was kind of like the secondary tweet the subtweet i believe that's what you call it and that had 1.4 mil which is absolutely insane though. youtube under the communities tab that has over 103,000 likes and yeah, nearly instagram 8, is thousand comments it has truly been a record-breaking reveal for gta 6 but this has prompted strass zelnick to respond saying that they want to stay away from claiming victory until everything has occurred yeah, and so because of yeah, that the yeah. website game industry man this game got so much hype though it is insane bro like this game literally trends every single day and now i mean makes sense if it's gonna trend because of this situation but it was even trending with the fake ass leak <laughs> it was even trending with the fake ass leaks though and uh, I'm pretty sure Strauss Zelnick is either gonna be, he gonna be stressing though. Even if the game is like amazing and he knows it's gonna be amazing, I think he's gonna be stressing. Let's be real because so many people, so many eyes are gonna be looking at the trailer. So many people are waiting for this game for years, for a decade plus. Especially by the time it comes out, it's gonna be a decade plus easily 12, 13 years though. Uh, and, and so many people are, it's gonna be one of those games that's gonna be here to stay it's gonna be a game of the decade or game of just the day though i hope it's not game of the day i hope it's a game of the decade guys because uh, it's either a banger or snoozer though i think they know there's no in between with uh, this biz one. asked strass zelnick about that with player expectations so high they wanted to get his thoughts on the long-awaited sequel and strass yeah. zelnick said we don't tend to set particular expectations for any future releases our job is to be the most creative the most innovative and the most efficient entertainment company in the world all of our creative teams that, that 
also pushes out shot cards and microtransactions for the toxic gamers. That all of our labels are trying to create perfection, and the result of that has been we have 11 franchises that have each sold over 5 million units in individual releases, and that we have the largest and most diverse collection of owned intellectual property across mobile and console in the interactive entertainment business. It's a result of that strategy and the extraordinary effort of our creative team that has led us to become the number two pure play interactive entertainment company on earth. So we stay away from claiming victory until it's occurred, but we're super optimistic about the company's lineup across the board. So essentially what Strauss oh. Zelnick is trying to do here with GTA 6 is he's trying to under promise and over deliver. He doesn't want to yeah. get sucked too yeah, much into good, the hype good, of GTA 6, even though it is reaching absolutely- I like it Pikachu. I, I actually do like that. I just hope that they really do deliver. I hope that this is not a snoozer, my bro others because we waited years for this game click on this video on the screen guys this recently just leaked out i mean damn man some of the real leaks might start they're starting they're starting and i believe that in the coming days we're gonna be having some more leaks some more confirmation some teases click on this video on the screen and i will see you right there bye